ஷார்டங் இங்கிலீஷ் இன்டர்மீடியட் கிரேட் கெட் ரெடி ஃபார் ட்ரையல் டிக்டேஷன் டென் செகண்ட்ஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் கமெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் த மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் வித் தி கிரேஸ் ஆஃப் காட் அண்ட் வித் தி கோஆப்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் தி சென்ட்ரல் அண்ட் ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட்ஸ் குட் அச்சீவ் இட்ஸ் ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ் டு ஸ்டார்ட் தி பிளான்ட் அட் த ஏர்லியஸ்ட் பாசிபிள் யூ ஆர் அவேர் தட் த கண்ட்ரி ஹேஸ் ஃபேஸ்டு அண்ட் அக்யூட் ஷார்டேஜ் ஆஃப் டயர்ஸ் அண்ட் டியூப்ஸ் டு மீட் ஹோம் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்போர்ட் டிமாண்ட் த கன்சியூமர்ஸ் ஹாவ் சஃபர்டு பேட்லி பிகாஸ் அடிக்வேட் கெப்பாசிட்டி has not been created to relieve the shortage of tires and meet increasing demand the fifth five year plan has fixed a target of 11 million automobile tires by 1979 i would like to point out that if tire shortage is to be avoided it is necessary that the government should examine why new capacity is not being established in my opinion it is because of the fact that investment is not remunerative a new tire plant today requires an investment of more than rupees 30 crores as against the investment of rupees 9 crores in old plants thus investment cost has increased four fold unless this additional investment is made remunerative new companies will not come up the only way to compensate the disadvantage of high investment cost to new companies is by giving them suitable rebate in excise duty so that their cost of production may come Shorten English Intermediate Grade First Paper Code Number of Question Paper 1030 1030 Please Note 10 Marks are reserved for your shortened performance and your handwriting during transcription should be legible and that sufficient space should be left between lines. Get Ready 10 seconds 5 seconds comments speaking on the topic international trade and environmental quality a member said dear colleagues we know that international trade is only an international specialization of goods and services and exchanging them on the basis of comparative advantages and the intensity of reciprocal demand for commodities produced and exchanged it is stated that international values or terms of international exchange are determined according to the principle of comparative cost generally nation do not take into consideration costs involved in maintaining environmental quality in assessing the values of goods and services coming under international trade but national standards in pollution control may have considerable impact on the international trade the environmental policy of our country can affect the environmental quality in the foreign country even if the home country's pollution is confined to national environmental media it should be realized that the main motivation in foreign trade is the prospect of gains by which countries could expand their consumption opportunities 
through trade. It is to be viewed in the context of deteriorating environmental quality. Gains from trade should be specified as the net improvements in well-being rather than in terms of consumption availabilities. Growing problems of pollution have been discussed in many international conferences, organizations and commissions and also courts to define as well as formulate principles of agreements and acceptances. This conference empowered countries to initiate environmental policies without causing damage to other countries. It also provided for compensation by the polluter to victims of pollution and other environmental damages caused by activities within the jurisdiction. Even after independence, we are not able to change the lifestyles and mal distribution of wealth and reduction in inequalities and equal fair distribution of food. The industrial policy was dependent on forest resources which need foreign exchange. The consequences of fast developing forest wealth is determined by the commercial, industrial and revenue interest. The people whose life system was dependent on these very resources. The level of investment on waste collection and garbage disposal has to be raised. Collecting the garbage and waste for purposes of recycling them through private sector may be encouraged. If the government encourages this, the environmental problems of urban growth can be collectively checked. Coming to the topic of air pollution in India, it is one of the most dangerous and common kinds of environmental pollution that has seen reported in most industrial towns and metropolitans in India and abroad. The classification of air pollution depends on their origin or chemical composition or the state of matter of pollutants. The growth in population may affect economic progress than any other single trend, but rates have fallen in most of the world. As population grows, the shrinking per capita supply of natural resources threatens not only the quality of life, but in some situations even life itself. As regards the preservation of forest wealth, the government has announced a new policy which aims at maintaining environmental stability through preservation, restoration of ecological balance and protecting the remaining forest. Dear Sir, in reply to your letter of the 10th instant, we regret that we cannot undertake the responsibility of adopting your suggestion with regard to the machine. We wish to inform you that we are willing to execute the repairs to the best of our ability with the lowest price as stated in our previous letter. If you decide to leave the matter to us, inform us by the next post so as to enable us to put the work in hand and be able to dispatch the item by goods train next week. We further need to say that we guarantee them to be of best quality obtainable. With reference to our statement of accounts for last quarter, we wish to call attention to the fact that the balance amount has not been received and we will thank you for a check amount at your earliest convenience. We shall give early consideration to your enquiries for the 
special task and will forward the desired specification as soon as possible or otherwise if you are able to make an appointment during next week we shall be glad to receive you and to have a free and frank discussion with you yours truly